babies and curls it is melissa q welcome back for another video and we are going into our october favorites i'm so excited i wanted to do this on the g couch or the couch y'all the sofa really i wanted to do more of a cozy type of feeling let me know if you like this or not you know i usually film in my bedroom or the bathroom but i wanted to do this on the couch so if you're interested in my favorites i have candles i have and this is not i'm coming with my fall favorites y'all because that's a whole different beast okay but if you want to know what is in my october favorites i do have some fails by the way then keep watching so let's start off with hair hair was a fail i am protective styling it is a favorite of the month currently and um, I'm going into November with some protective styling. And um, this is me prepping for a twist out. It's going to be bomb because I use some of my favorites. But let me show you the fail. Unfortunately, we're starting off with a fail. And it is the Diva Curl Super Cream. Okay. I do have a review and a life, days in the life of my hair. I have a vlog about this. Let me know what y'all think about the vlog, but this did not work for me. You can check out Missy Palo and my Maintenance Monday and in the segment that I just started, My Hair Talks, talking about this. This was a fail for me. In the fall and winter, it's not going to work. Maybe in the spring or summer, but I like full year-round type of products. But I do every now and then get some good products from Diva Curl that will work for me seasonally. But this one, only a seasonal product has the devil in it if you know what i'm talking about if you don't know what i'm talking about check out the review of this the diva curl and the days and i did the week in my life but it was cut off because these were only days in my life because i had to wash this out of my hair anyway check it out you'll know what i mean okay one product that i have been loving if you want an alternative to this that's glycerin free and this is the she scented coconut curl defining pudding it is more lightweight this is a thicker type of consistency but i really do enjoy this is glycerin free i did use this to twist my hair but i want to say that this may be discontinued but the coconut there's a coconut pudding as well from kamaza care that they have that is really really good that you can check it out check out that i did a review for a while ago but um yeah i do have some alternatives that i am going to talk about in a different video and some dupes to this so this is an alternative that works really well that's a favorite of mine but yeah i just wanted to share a fail and a favorite of the month of october with you this is such an underrated brand kula this is the kula dawn patrol classic primer i absolutely love this it contains spf 30 it's used to smooth the skin but i don't it doesn't fill in pores but it definitely gives me that smooth skin it gives me like that unfiltered unfiltered no filtered i would say it looks really good under my makeup i really do enjoy this and i've used quite a bit of this but i really do love this product a whole lot okay so i know i talked about this and i'm just reiterating the love of this nighttime routine with drunk elephant it was sent to me but y'all i had some some of these i had on my own but this is the inspector drunk night kit absolutely love it i do have a review a full review coming and showing you how i apply these the importance of skincare um, but I did talk about this as well in my Sephora favorites recommendations, but there's one specifically, there are actually two specifically, the C Firma Day Serum, bomb. I love this. The Frat Boost, I would say out of anything, I love this kit because it's worth, it's, it's well worth its weight in gold by being $98, but it's $144 value. You get the full size of this. If you want the day kit of this, because they do have a day kit, I just have the night kit. They have this in this size, like a larger size. Absolutely amazing. You can get the day kit and the night kit, and now you have a day and a night routine. But this C Firma is the bomb. I have to talk about this Marula oil because it is so good. It's fast absorbing. 
it helps with it fell on the floor so i didn't even worry about it but it helps with free radicals it helps reduce it's an antioxidant type of oil next to my maracuja oil that one is bomb that's like my favorite oil comment down below and let me know if you guys have a favorite oil and if you want me to come with my favorite oils i know i was supposed to bring that a long time ago i don't even know if y'all want to see that still but let me know and i definitely can do that for you but marula oil is one of my favorite maracuja is too but this this right here during the day i have it under my skin right now again this is going to be coming in a review and i have some more drunk elephant products that i'm going to talk about but love that i want to talk about two lotions this one is by bath and body works it is their sleep lavender vanilla this one has essential oils it's a body lotion i love using this on my feet i also use it to massage on joseph and elijah's feet i use this on everybody's feet okay this is a great massaging lotion or a foot massage when i want to get the boys to sleep this is what i use i love it it has that calming sense and they really like me rubbing their feet and they're like, oh, mommy's taking care of me. And it's really cozy. You know, this is just like the nurturing lotion. You know what I mean? So love that. And then this is from Coors or Corez. I'm not sure if I'm butchering it. Y'all let me know if y'all have used this before. I know my girl Andrea Renee loves this brand. This is the Guava Body Butter. This is so good this is so good it's almost gone it's gonna be in my next empties video but it smells so so good and it's very moisturizing it's not sticky and those are the things i look for in a lotion i got this from a fat fit fun but i absolutely love this lotion and yes i will be repurchasing it it is a pricey lotion but it's worth it it's worth it and i don't even think this is the full size this is the 4.23 i think this runs about 20 bucks but it's an expensive lotion, but to me, it's worth it, and I feel luxurious. Like, I like this better than the bum bum cream. I know that's saying a lot to some of y'all, but I really like this. I'm not done with skincare. The Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb, one of my favorite hydrating moisturizers. This one is so moisturizing. I actually have a travel kit of the whole Belief system. Let me know if you want to see that, but... This is so moisturizing. I've used this so, so much. This is so beautiful under makeup. It makes your makeup just glide on, seriously. It's fast absorbing. To me, it's great for oily or, um, it's great for dry skin as well. It's one of those hydrating that it's a water cream. It reminds me a lot of the, um, it's the Laneige Water Bank moisturizer i have that one too reminds me a lot if you have either one you really don't need the other but i have been just loving this brand belief i like k beauty anyway but i have been loving this one for real this is the bomb let's move on to a fail this is the super goop setting spray with rosemary it's supposed to be for it's a defense refresher now i like this i love the concept because it's spf 30 in it and i could just reapply my spf by spraying it but y'all this gives me white dots all over my face no 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 no. i love the shaker but this is a no it's a fail i feel like if i'm going to use this i'm going to spray it in my hand and pat it all over my face do not spray it over, over your face I mean, oh my goodness, you will get droplets like crazy and it will ruin your makeup. That's just the experience that I got. I'm like, girl, you know, we're like girlfriends. I feel like we're girlfriends here talking. This will ruin your makeup. So that's just my opinion. Let me know if you've tried that. I love the concept. I love that it has SPF. You can use it and reapply, you know, after the 80 minutes that it usually is, you know, times run up on your SPF. So you have to reapply it during the day. It's a great concept, but the spout on that or the sprayer, horrible. Let's talk about the favorites from the drugstore. I do have some drugstore favorites. I have the e.l.f. This is the flawless finish. It's oil-free and it has SPF 15. 
and I am in the shade Caramel. This is so beautiful on the skin. It looks like a high-end foundation. I really do love it, and I have not done a review on this, so I need to show you guys how it looks on my face, but I absolutely love it. I feel like it's amazing. I've been trying some things and had some foundations on the chopping block, so that one is there to stay. This is an O O O O G. okay? This is probably the first foundation that I've ever put on my face, and it is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable, and I have it in W7. This is the bomb. It comes in a million shades, not literally a million, but it is one of the first foundations that came in like a plethora of shades in the drugstore, and it has a yellow undertone. I absolutely love it. And a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of this and it gives you a natural finish. I love it. And if to me with my dry skin, I love this during the fall and winter. Same thing with this. And these are inexpensive, under 10 bucks. This one is like $6. This one is, I want to say around $8.99 or something like that, but definitely under $10. Those are some good foundations. Another one that I actually have on today that I've been loving that's also on a project pan on my second channel, Missy Q Memoirs, you're going to see this is the Hourglass Vanished Stick Foundation. I have it in the shade Amber. This is my summer shade and I have Honey, which is my winter shade, so I can mix it or whatever. Been loving this. Love how this, you it, it looks beautiful with a brush. I don't like it with a sponge. I feel like the sponge picks up too much of the product and this is expensive. Okay, this is not even half an ounce and foundation sticks usually are less than a an ounce anyway, but that's expensive, but it looks so beautiful on the skin and a lot of people say it's full coverage, but I feel like I have to keep wiping, doing a lot of swipes to get full coverage, like full coverage, like the way that I would want it, but it's a natural full coverage, which is good. And it looks so natural and beautiful on the skin. I love Hourglass for that. So it's one of my favorites. Now let's talk about a foundation fail that's a declutter. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I don't know what my skin has done to this or what it's done to my skin. I just think maybe my skin does not like this in the fall and winter. And I am on the train of using foundations that are like year round. My skin looks so dry right now with this. And I don't know what's going on. I don't think they changed the formula. But I did like this in the beginning. The same thing with the concealer, though. And I don't like the concealer anymore. And it's probably because other things have come along that's better. But this, I'm definitely decluttering out of my collection just because I just, number one, I have too many foundations. I don't need it. I don't like how it looks on my skin. And it grab, it does grab on to certain patches. It looks beautiful in the summer and spring, but I just don't like it right now. And I am on the train of using stuff that looks great year round. So that one is a no. Modern Renzots, of course, is a favorite. It's what's on my eyes today. It has become a, a new, like, not like a new love, but it's become like, I fell back in love with this. I absolutely love this. I love the colors. And although I don't use all the colors, I feel like these are some great combinations that Anastasia made so I really do like this I have this currently in a pan that palette I want to use it and get some different combinations of eye looks I used it all on my eyes today and in conjunction with another palette that I have but that'll probably be in another favorites because I haven't been using that one all month let's move on to subscription boxes now you know I actually subscribe to Ipsy and BoxyCharm and FabFitFun. Y'all know I do that on this channel of like letting you guys know what's in my box and you know reviews. Let's go ahead and review the fail box. I talked about this. I gave BoxyCharm a thumbs down for the month of October just because Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. This is a drying to me. A lot of people love her liquid lipsticks but it is a drying, a more drying formula than other ones and I love this shade but I feel like Dose of Colors has a shade similar to this and the formula is better and Ofra as well so I said I would put this in a giveaway some of you guys love Kat Von D I will like put that in the giveaway because it's not my favorite another one that is not my favorite this Morphe highlighter I feel like you know Wet n Wild did it better okay one thing I can say that Morphe did right. Number one, I like the packaging. Number two, it finally has a mirror. Like Morphe is putting mirrors in there 
on their packaging and I need them to do that for their palettes though okay but I like the that fact and I love that it's very simple and chic so I like that about the Morphe highlighter it was not anything special okay it's not that it's a horrible product it just wasn't anything special I do have um, I did swatch this and I did use this and I try on um, video of my beauty subscriptions and I'll show you I'll, I'll link that so you guys can see that but this wasn't anything special the best thing in this box was the superhero I love this mascara I love it and I also have the Briogeo this is the strength and moisture leave-in mask amazing okay it makes me want to dig in more Briogeo products and I love this these two but these are the only two products I'm gonna wait just wait for it the last product is the worst um this one by pure I am not a fan of their palettes they have beautiful colors but in terms of pigmentation even how these look they're even dusty and powdery in the in the case and this shade is so beautiful but everything else is collecting on this and I'm gonna I'm be honest with you well I'm honest anyway but this reminds me so much of the Laura Lee Los Angeles, like the palette, the color, the party animal palette. Not necessarily in the color, but the pigmentation and it is not good. Okay. That's just what I think about that. I don't think I've ever came and talked about that. <clears throat> this palette was not my favorite. I'm going to pass it on. I'm probably going to put it on Poshmark. Some people like pure, you know, the cruelty free I think it's vegan vegan friendly yes and some people like this but I like a little bit more pigmentation more blendability but it is a good palette it's just not my favorite and it's not it's not the best it's not the worst it's like in between and I have better like modern renaissance better okay oh worst one was that face mask I'm gonna put a clip in here y'all it broke skin on me Okay, and that it was like the Michael Myers lace dominatrix type of mask that I talked about in the video. And y'all, it was just a no bueno para me for me. If C gets a thumbs up, two thumbs up with this. First of all, look at this beautiful bag. Second of all, the products inside. This Nila Tika uh, Pure Melt, I love it. It is so good, so moisturizing for hands, feet, whatever you need. This is such a great like multi-purpose product. The Ico Eyeliner, I have something finally to replace my Kat Von D um, eyeliner. I'm kind of like going away from Kat Von D just because a lot of her packaging is bulky. That's probably the only, the tattoo liner is probably still one of my favorite products from Kat Von D but everything else I feel like is kind of fading out of my collection and it's just because her packaging is so bulky and I am so into like let me throw it in my purse and I can do it on the way to work or at work or in the car and you just can't do that with a Kat Von D product not a face product so that's to be desired the man eater this was a really good mascara I really enjoyed it this one I actually got some clarity on and this is the Pop Sugar Lip Balm. It has SPF in it and this is should actually say 1219 and not 1218 for the expiration date. So it's an okay color. It's like just like a little tint of color, a berry color. So that would be my least favorite. My favorite of this whole entire thing was the Smashbox. This is their cover shot bold glitter eye palette love 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 this and although it's the chunky glitter it's the glitter that you're gonna want during the holidays so I thought that this was awesome to put in a palette I put a palette in here for $29 this was 25 I will leave a link down below if you guys want to check out ipsy plus this is their plus because all of these are full size I did not get the $10 one. I wanted to try this out and tell you guys what I thought and two thumbs up for Ipsy. This is amazing. This smells so good. 
so sweet. It's sweet, but it's a sophisticated sweet, not a child sweet. And sometimes I get that from my Bath and Body Works candles. There's only a few from Bath and Body Works that I really like, but it can't be too sweet, it can't be too strong, it can't be too feminine because, you know, Forrest is not having it when it comes to like, he's like, that scent smells too much like a girl. Okay. I need some sophisticated scents in my house that's kind of unisex that isn't too much on one side or the other and dw candles are inexpensive you can get them from home scents you can get them from home goods you can get it from uh tj maxx and i really love this candle thank you cj girl for introducing me to this brand i love it and this can candle is eight dollars okay this is something that you're going to pay for in the amount on sale at bath and body works and these are you know, some of these have the labels that are they are not as toxic and they last longer. I'm just saying you can, you know, I still have some Bath and Body Works, but I have graduated. OK, so this one is from TJ Maxx. This is a larger one and this is the Wood Fire Apple. I talked about this in a vlog. Oh, my goodness. This smells like smoked apples. It smells so good. It smells like the fireplace is going without the fireplace going. You know what I mean? And you can smell the apples, but it smells like a sophisticated, like sensual apple. Okay, the one Snow White ate, but oh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. And you can smell this after you finish burning it. And look at this. It's a sophisticated jar, you know? I love this. I love it so much and it's hand poured. This is from DW Home and this one was $15, but it has 96, no, 90 hours approximately of burning time on this one. So I love that. Let's go on to books. I know I have not talked about books before. This is a long, yes, a long one. American, the Amer An American Marriage by Tiari Jones. I love this book. It's taken me forever, but it's because I have so much going on right now. But this is such a great book. It's such a great book. Um, I'm almost done with it. And I'm thinking about on my second channel doing book reviews. So if you love books, that's where I'm going to talk about books. And I'm also, I want to review some movies for you guys. I am such a movie watcher, Forrest and I, and we analyze and talk about the symbolism in books and in movies. So I definitely want to bring that to you guys. But yeah, love those. So, um, oh, what I've been watching on Netflix, two things. Okay. I fail. Sabrina, what is going on? Why is that movie? Why is that series so dark? Okay. Um, really into satanic worship and stuff like that. So I had to stop watching that. Yes. And that's probably one of the first that I, it's just, it was just too much for me. It was just too much. It had me like praying and fasting. Okay. <laughs> And the other thing is um, Ozark, hooked, hooked on Ozark. I started Daredevil. I know we're talking about all this. Why is all the devil in here? Okay. Daredevil is a good series. I'm actually starting that one. But list your favorite Netflix down below. And yeah. That is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I do have the winner down below in the description box of my September favorites. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.